Well, hey there, good buddy. Boy, am I glad that you showed up. I'm about to do a gay crash draft, and I could use all the help I could get. Nah, I'm just kidding. My pre-release actually didn't go that bad, despite making some, shall we say, uninformed decisions. Yeah, so the way I see it, well, I can only improve. So let's test the validity of that statement and do a draft. Okay, so this is a unexciting first pack, I should say. The picks here are Bomber, Bomber Core or Fortress Cyclops if I wanted to go Gruel. I mean, Boros. Mortal Servitude is not really a first pickable card. This is a card that you're happy to get if you can play it, but it's, it's not worth first picking. Uh, Hands of Binding is a pretty great card if I decide to go Demir or Simic. Massive Raid is technically removal, but it's not the best removal. Martial Glory is a good uh, surprise, trick -a rooney but that's something that I probably don't want to pick up right away either. Uh, I think I'll just take Hands of Binding as my first pick here and hope for the best. Okay, so this can go fuck itself because Alms Beast is here, and that's actually a fantastic card in Limited. Uh, I don't know why that got passed around. I guess, what, did somebody take a common or a just a, a foil rare, I suppose? So yeah, we're, we're going to pick up Alms Beast, maybe do something Arzovian. Uh, I would still splash blue for Hands of Binding if it came down to it, if the deck fit it right, but that's not necessarily something we'll be doing. So, on this beast it is. Next up, well, King Kingpin's Pet is probably the best common in Orzo, so that's a happy pick for me as well. Gladly steal that. What do we want to return? Uh, you know, I'd play the Balustrade Spy in an Orzo of Shell. I'd play Holy Mantle, but that's not going to table. So, And I, I guess that's probably it. There's nothing else here that would really interest me. So, Kingpin's Pet. Next up, the pick is either Smite or Assault Griffin. Now, I do like Smite, especially in an Orzov deck, and Syndicate Enforcer is fine, but Assault Griffin is the way to go, I believe because it is a, an aggressive flyer that can jump in while my ground guys bog up the ground and uh, yeah this is a good this is a good win condition in Orzo. So assault Griffin it is. Okay, we can pick up another assault Griffin, which I'm fine with doing. Uh, I'd still rather play Assault Griffin over the Syndicate Enforcer, despite the fact that the Syndicate Enforcer has Extort. Uh, this flying will do more damage over the course of the game than the Extort will. Chances are. So two Assault Griffins. Sounds good to me. Next up, Dutiful Thrall or Syndicate Enforcer. I think I will... This... You know what? Or even the Corpse Blockade is fine. It's a good blocker. Um, yeah, but these guys, I mean, these go so late. I'll probably find one of those. I think I will pick the Enforcer this time over the Dutiful Thrill, but this could be wrong. I'm not very experienced in the format yet. Uh, but let's, let's do it. Syndicate Enforcer. Righteous Charge. This is a good card. I'm not sure it's the right deck for it, but it's still probably better than anything else here. So I will take it. Next up, Night Watch is fine. Get a couple blockers. Um, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Night Watch. Now I'm tempted to take the Immortal Servitude. 
I mean, we've got plenty of four drops that we can bring back into play if uh, we have seven mana. And hopefully we'll get some three drops as well. Some more three drops. So, Mortal Servitude. And do we take Riot Gear? It's really the only thing that we could possibly play. Or maybe we just want to steal the Leyline Phantom from whoever wants to do that. Nah, we'll take Riot Gear, a possible playable, over the Leyline Phantom. And here we will take the Fortress Cyclops. I mean, this Gateway Shade really is not playable unless you have like four gates, and I, it doesn't look like I'll be getting that. Shield and Passage is a sideboard card, but you know this is this is a good enough blocker that it's I would consider splashing red for it. It's not likely, but I would consider it. We'll take the Adaptive Snapjaw, hide it. Purge the Profane, no, no one would ever play that. So we'll take the Sprite, we'll take the Market, hide it, we'll take the Mountain. So, not the greatest first pack around, but doable. Next booster, we got the Fathom Mage. Fortunately, with what we have going on here, it doesn't look like the Fathom Mage is going to do anything good in our deck. Uh, so really, I think it's a removal pick. I would even either take the Angelic Edict, the Devour Flesh, or the Killing Glare. Well, the Killing Glare is the thing that we will see less of going around, chances are. And it's versatile enough that it could be good at any stage of the game, where Devour Flesh is really only good early in the game. And uh, this could, this is only good later in the game, obviously, because of the mana cost. So I think we'll pick up the Killing Glare. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Ooh, Guardian of the Gateless. That's a gift. What a wonderful creature you are. Yeah, we're going to happily take the Guardian and be glad he's around. Uh, what's next here? Syndic of Tithes. It's a bear with extort, so yes. Net of Obligation. Uh, very nice four drop in Wars of Town. I really like Five Alarm Fire, but so some Boros deck is going to be delighted to get this sent its way. In fact, there were, we passed a bunch of good Boros cards, but. We have enough Orzov now that there's no going back. Knight of Obligation it is. Smog Elemental. I'm a fan of this card as well. It's a high cost creature, but when it comes down, it just sh it just shuts down certain cards. Uh, Boros people can't attack with their 3-1 uh, dude. I forget what that card is called. You know, the one that gets flying with Battalion because then it just dies. It's always nice. So, Smog Elemental it is. Hmm. Shadow Slice? I can see this doing well in our deck with our flyers here. So, sure. Let's, let's pick it up. And... Nothing really good here. This is not something I would play. Hmm, looks like we're getting actually cut off on Orzo in the second pack, so we'll have to rely on the third pack to get the rest of our playables, it seems. Uh, we'll take the Krasis, simply because it's the most annoying card. Another Shadow Slice? Maybe hold the gates? Eh, that doesn't seem great. Especially since I have no gates. Yeah, we'll take the other Shadow Slice. We'll hide the Hands of Binding for now and the Fortress Cyclops, but I'll burn one back if I have to. Nov Quad Com Scamanda. Let's start over with that one. Nov Squad Commandos. Uh, a fine blocker and, you know, decent attacker, I guess. I would play it if I have to. We want some more early drops, though. Executioner Swing. Yes, Siri Bob, that is some removal. Another couple of removal spells would be great, too. I mean, we're not that aggressive, but I feel like this will add up. So I think I'll take the Illusionist Bracer. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to play it, but just because it's the rare, I'm not going to add it to the old collection. 
Paranoid delusions. Naturalize. I have no fear of Thunder Fist. Also no fear of... Uh, we'll take the paranoid delusions. Cripple that mill deck. Contaminated ground. Both of these cards are unplayable. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. So what? We need five more cards at the very least. We need a lot more early drops for sure. We're bogged down on four, and I'm playing too many fives. So let's let's be honest here. Uh, I would I would cut a shadow slice in a second. Godless shrine. Wow. I mean, what would I take over Godless shrine? The smite. Might be more work. It might be worth it just to take the smite. I'm not. I mean, I have four godless shrines already for my personal collection, so it's not like I'd be. I, I need this, and it's just four tickets. So, uh, yeah, I think I think smite's the way to go. Court Street Denison, maybe. I do have enough white dudes, but I'm not that aggressive, so it's really just going to be a two-two most of the time. Smite more removal. That's the way we gotta play it. Oh well. Oh, another Guardian of the Gateless. I mean, I have to take it. I'll definitely cut down on these Shadow Slices, but I would really like this Devour Flesh as well. But this is this this creature could win the game by itself, so we'll take it. Borborygmos Enraged, not that playable. Basilica Screecher or Grizzly Spectacle. I'm going to take the Screecher, just because I need more early drops. The Grizzly Spectacle is great, and this might be wrong. I mean, it is removal, and, you know, everything being equal, this is a better card. However, I need more guys, and I need more early guys, specifically. So, the Screecher, it is... Oh, and hey, this is a great card. This is exactly what Orzhov wants, a... Three drop extorter. Yep, let's steal that up. Another assault griffin. I mean, how can I say no? My air is looking free and clear. So we're gonna cut at least one of these shadow slices, if not both of them. Um, High priest of penance. Oh, hello. Yes, yes, I would like you. When you die, so does their best thing, no matter what that might be. So, High Priest of Penance, welcome to the club. And I either take the Death Cult Rogue, which, I mean, with those Shadow Slices, is looking wonderful, but also is a nice way to just get in some more damage, or the Corpse Blockade. I feel like this is a close one. The Corpse Blockade, I mean... Nine times out of ten, he's just the one four defender. Uh, but that's relevant in a sea of aggressive cards like Boros and Gruul, and in some Simic decks, the Corpse Blockade could really make the game go to my favor in the long run. So we'll take that. And Debtor's Pulpit or Dutiful Thrall. If I take the Debtor's Pulpit, both Shadow Slices are going the way of the Dodo, if not the Nav Squad Commandos as well. Uh, the Dutiful Thrall, a nice one drop that can just block anything. I mean, they might as well be the same, to be honest, because I could just. Except this one costs, you know, one mana every turn. I could tap the thing, or I could just block all the time. I mean, I'm going to be winning with my flyers anyway. So I th think I'm going to take the Thrall over the pulpit. Another Righteous Charge, just to take it away from Boros. May not play it, probably won't play it. Same deal with the Hands of Binding. Don't want my opponents to have it. Slade Street Ruffian. Now that's an interesting choice, because I might play him. Over the Nav Squad Command? Nah, maybe not. I'll have to take a look. So yeah, I mean, I have enough cards here. We're going to cut both these Shadow Slices, I believe. I have enough cards here where I think I could have a pretty decent deck right here you're gone um so we need to make two more cuts it might be the ruffian and the nav squad commandos are the night's watch 
I have enough three, four, and two drops, or Immortal Servitude could come in handy, so I think I will play it. Uh, this is such a stupid card, no one would ever play that. Uh, we'll take Spell Rupture. Leyline Phantom, you are part of the collective as well now. Midnight Recovery. No, you're not needed. Well, you know what? That stupid Spirit Maker actually might have been playable. Just to trigger us, extort a bunch of times. Hmm. Oh well. Well, how many extorts do we even have? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a decent. It's a decent set of extorters. Uh, we'll play one of these Righteous Charges, and we'll cut one other card. I guess perhaps the Night's Watch. I could always sideboard into that if I had to. So let's do it. Let's make a deck. So this is what we're looking at. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, it makes me a little nervous. I could use a little bit more removal, but... The times where I passed up the removal, I got some pretty choice and necessary creatures for the deck. So, like Guardian of the Gateless and the Alms Beast. So, I don't have any regrets, but then again, I'm saying that before I actually start the event. So, we'll see when everything's all said and done. Overall, I do think that I have a nice defense against the aggressive decks, and I have a decent late game with all my freaking flyers over here, and in some ways a mortal servitude. So I'm willing to make some early trades in the hopes that this guy comes back. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get this party started.